Hello crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating a wall decor piece inspired by an item that I saw online that features a beautiful modern design. Now this shelf design was so intriguing to me and I knew that it could be used and styled in so many ways. Now for your convenience, I've provided the list of supplies and tools I used to make this project in the description box below. Now before we start, I wanted to say hey hey and welcome back to my amazing subscribers. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be the first to know when I have a new project to share. So now, let's just jump right into the project. Now here is my inspiration for this project today. Now I love the modern look as well as those offset shelves that create so much visual appeal. Now when this is decorated, I know it's a beautiful piece, but the $76 price was not so appealing. So I decided to create my own version and I grabbed some inexpensive wood from the home improvement store to create this high-end project on a budget. Now for this project, we're going to need one and a half pieces of the one by four pieces of wood. Now these come in lengths of eight feet and are very inexpensive at about $4.38 at Lowe's. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and cut our first two pieces and these will be cut at 27 inches. Now our second two pieces we are going to cut, we are going to cut at 18 inches. Now our last pieces we are gonna cut are four and we are gonna cut these at a length of 12 inches. Now I used my electric miter saw to cut these, but most home improvement stores will cut these for you as well. So I'm gonna start by protecting my work surface because I will be staining a couple pieces. Now I'm gonna be staining only the 27 inch pieces with early American color stain. Now when applying stain to the boards, I'm going to do it on both sides and also both ends as well since they will be showing in the project. Now when working with the stain, you just want to make sure you apply a nice even coat all over the board along all of the edges and making sure it's smooth over the whole board. Now here is one of my boards all nice and completely stained and when that's done, you just want to make sure that you repeat this for your second board as well and when they're both stained, let them sit out to completely dry. Now while those are drying, we want to grab our remaining boards. Now I'm going to use one um, of the 18 inch pieces and I'm going to use two of the 12 inch pieces to make my shelving sets. So I'm going to lay that 18 inch piece down and I'm going to be adding one of the 12 inch pieces on each side. Now I'm replacing these at the very end on the top of those 18 inch boards. Now I am going to be using my wood hot glue to adhere these, but you could definitely use wood glue as well. It'll just take just a little bit more time to dry. Now I am going to apply one line of the wood hot glue along that top edge of the end of the board. Now keep in mind the wood hot glue I'm only using for a temporary bond because we will be following up with this with screws in place. So I'm going to place my 12 inch board on top of the 18 inch board and want to press and hold it in place for at least about 10 to 15 seconds until that glue dries. Now we're just going to repeat that on the other end, adding our wood glue bead right along that edge and then we're going to place that 12 inch board in place. Now keep in mind when you place your boards right on top, make sure you wipe away any of that glue that oozes out of the seam and therefore you'll have a nice clean finish on the ends. So now both of the 12 inch boards are bonded to the eight inch board. Now this is what it looks like when I lie it down and so now what we're going to do is we are going to apply screws to make sure everything is nice and secure into place. Now I'm going to be drilling pilot holes first so I'm going to use my 7 64th inch drill bit and I'm going to drill in through the 18 inch board into that 12 inch board. Now I'm kind of just eyeballing it to make sure it goes right into the board but I want to make my um, 
pilot holes on each end at least three quarters of an inch away from the edge so your wood does not split. So as you can see here, I have two pilot holes on one end and you wanna repeat that for the other end as well. Now, once all of your pilot holes are drilled, it's time to get our hardware or my screws to secure it. So what I decided to go with is a number eight, two inch wood screw for this project. So now we're just going to apply our screws into our pilot holes. I always like to kind of start by hand screwing it in just a little bit just to get it going. And then I'll use my drill to make sure it gets all the way in there nice and flush with the wood. Now here is one of those screws in place. And then you just want to repeat this all the way around until you have all four of your screws in the board securing all of those 12 inch pieces in place. So now grab your other set of wood pieces and we're going to repeat this entire process. And now you should have two of your U-shaped shelf boards all assembled and ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna be painting our shelf boards to match our inspiration piece. Now our inspiration piece had the shelf boards as a black, so I chose to go with this black acrylic paint. You could use any kind of black paint that you prefer or any stain that you like, but I'm going with black to match the inspiration piece. So when I paint this, I'm gonna start on the inside and you want to go ahead and just apply a generous coat. Now this acrylic paint by Apple Barrel is really thick and I only really needed one coat to cover the boards. So here's the inside of that shelving unit, nice and painted. So now I'm gonna paint the edges and the outsides as well. Now here is my entire piece all nice and painted. You see I have really good coverage with just one coat. And now I'm just gonna repeat that process for the other shelf piece. And then once that one is all painted, you want it to sit to completely dry. So while those are drying, we're gonna go ahead and grab our 27 inch boards and they should be nice and dry from the stain. Now what we need to do is we need to join these together to make the center support for our shelves. Now you could have bought a larger board to put in the center, but this was the less expensive way and it also is very effective. Now again, I am gonna be using my wood hot glue to join these, but feel free to use regular wood glue if you prefer, but we will be following up with screws for this. So I'm just gonna start by adding a bead of that wood hot glue right down the center of the side of the board and I wanna press both boards together. Now I do want to press it together firmly to make sure it gets a really tight bond. Then after about 15 to 20 seconds it's nice and bonded. Then I'll flip it over to the back of the boards and I'm just going to run an additional bead of that wood hot glue right in the seam between those boards and this is just for added security just to make sure things stay together. So once that's applied, you could flip it back over to the right side and you now we have one solid board to work with. So once that dries, everything is good to go. And we could go ahead and grab our shelf pieces now that they are nice and dry. So to apply it, I'm first gonna just rotate my center board around. I'm trying to get a good visual here so you guys can see exactly how I'm gonna apply this. And you can see the open end of the shelf pieces will be aligned along the top edge and along the outside edge as shown. So once that's sitting right in place, I'm taking my pencil and I'm marking the top edge where that bottom part of the shelving lays and underneath that top portion. Now I'm just gonna remove that shelf to the side and we're going to go ahead and bond this in place before for screwing it in place. So I am gonna be using my wood hot glue just to run a bead right along that top edge and also running a bead right below that pencil mark where I marked for the bottom shelf. And then I'm gonna take my shelf piece and I wanna carefully place it on the glue, making sure that the open ends are aligned with the edge of the center support bracket and press and hold it in place until it's bonded. 
So once it bonds, this is what it looks like. This is the top half of the shelf. And now we could just rotate the entire thing around and place the bottom half of the shelf on. So we're grabbing our other U-shaped piece and we are going to add it the same way as we did that first piece, making sure the top and the edge is aligned and then taking a pencil and marking the top edge of that bottom piece of the shelf. Then go ahead and add your adhesive, your glue, and we're gonna add it along the top and along the line where we drew for the bottom support of the shelf. And then grab your other shelf piece and press and hold that one in place until it's bonded. Now once everything is bonded in place, you have one solid shelf, shelf piece and this is what it looks like. You can see that these shelves are nice and staggered and offset just like our inspiration piece. So now what we're going to do is flip the entire thing over where the back side is facing you. Now we're going to work on applying our screws. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to be using some painter's tape and I'm going to use this as a guide so I'll know exactly where to apply my screws so they go through the back and into the shelf. Now I'm using the alignment of the shelf on both edges as a guide to place my tape down. So when I drill my pilot holes into the back of my shelf, I'll know it's going to directly into the board and I'm not missing my mark. So again, I'm going to take my drill bit, uh, 7 64th inch drill bit, and I am going to drill right in the center of the tape along that back side of the board. Now I'm going to drill in the middle of each one of those boards, just making sure that you go all the way down and make a deep enough hole for a 2 inch screw. Now I'm going to repeat that for each outside edge and both shelf pieces in the center. And then once all of your drill holes are drilled, you go ahead and grab some more of those number eight two inch wood screws to secure everything in place. And we're going to need eight of these. So now you can remove your tape because you no longer need it as a guide and we're going to start to apply our wood screws in all of our pilot holes. I just like to slowly start applying these in place and make sure they're absolutely straight going down into the wood shelf and these should be super easy to apply. You always want to make sure you drill your pilot holes to make sure your wood doesn't split and that the screws will stay securely in place. So once you got those first two in, you are good to go. You just want to repeat this for the remaining six. And as you can see, we have two on one outer edge. We have those four screws in the center for those shelf brackets. And we have the two at the very end. Now, once you flip it over, you'll notice that your shelf is now nice and solid and screwed together. It is one solid piece. So now you can move on to the next step. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add my hanging hardware to the back. Now the hardware that I prefer to use for my heavier shelves are D-rings. Now D-rings have a heavier weight capacity and I like to use two of these and these go from 10 to 20 pounds a piece and they come with some screws supplied with them but they do hold a considerable amount of weight so I love using these for my shelf projects. Now I'm going to place one of these D-rings at the top of that center support on the back of my shelf as shown here. Now to keep those D-rings from sliding around, what I like to do is just put a tiny dot of that hot glue on the back of it just to place it in place. Now this is in no way trying to adhere it into place. This is just to hold that piece in place while I apply my screws and to keep it from sliding around on the back. So 
So now that both of those in place, we can start to apply our screws. Now these are fairly small uh, screws in diameter, so you do not need to drill any pilot holes for these. I am simply going to use my ratcheting screwdriver to screw these all the way into the wood. And here's my D-ring all nice and secure in place and just repeat the adding the screw for the other one. And here they are both ready to go and to hang your project. So check this out, you guys. The inspiration piece is on the left and my shelf design is on the right. What do you think? So here's my shelf design all decorated and displayed and I love how this piece turned out. Now I decided to use an option with a bath or spa vibe since this piece has so many shelves to display with different items. And as you can see, there's lots of room for all kinds of goods, especially the taller items, which I absolutely love about this piece. So now that you've made one, you can choose which way that you would love to decorate it. And of course, if you like a natural vibe with a boho feel, this one would be perfect too. It's really all up to you. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.